What's up, friends of the good wood? This is Money, and welcome to the living legend, the Blitz Robot. With Quarker in this case, and the legendary pilot. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be living legend pure. Uh, it begins very similar to another video I'm doing, the Ares living legend, even with the same map and same starting position. Um, but let me just show you what this little Blitz Robot can do in this match, okay? We're absolutely going to destroy the living heck out of these enemies. And no shield breaker will help me with that. I didn't get that kill, but I will get this one. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be rocking the boat here. So, um, again, there will be another episode coming where I do the same thing with the Ares. And, oh boy, wow, this guy is doing some damage to us. But now at least we have the increased damage output from uh, the overdrive muted running. Again, I'm not running last stand, so I can get killed quicker and easier, but if I get to do the right damage and survive, I can have a massively damaging output round in front ahead of me. And, uh, and that's what I'm making use of here. And you see, I'm in the middle of the action. There is like no situation, no gosh darn second, where I have a few seconds of, uh, of just chilling and relaxing time. It's constant action and firepower and attacks being made against me here from all different angles and sides. Beyond godlike. Beyond godlike. And that's where we already are. And if you think I have a moment's break, no sir, I do not. There is the next Ravana here and they all want me. I'm not sure if anybody has even done and gotten a kill because I seem to be absolutely destroying this entire map. Starting again with the next ability charge, going down for this guy, then finishing off him first. Living legend. Living legend. And... Living Living legend. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That little blitz robot in the middle of everyone is able to pull off a living legend by literally being attacked by the entire map. They're trying not to give me a moment of break or peace where I can restore my abilities. They're constantly throwing stuff at me. And this little blitz robot is still able to pull out a living legend uh, out of its head. Man, this is crazy, and we're not just fighting super weak stuff, we're fighting also some powerful Storm Ravanas and stuff like this. But it is lagging a bit, so probably also in my favor sometimes. Um, so maybe sometimes I actually benefit from the lag. Who knows, maybe when the enemy is missing me a few times, maybe I also do lag for them a little bit, like this guy lagged for me here, see that? And um, this way, I don't know how many Ravanas that has been. and. Imagine what crazy living legend that would be now if we hadn't, you know, uh, lost the streak. This is still the same Blitz robot, so it would all be living legend, living legend, living legend. Every single kill we've gotten uh, would be living legend, but we missed uh, the streak by just one second, literally. And oh boy, this guy's almost done with the four light, no, three light weapons now because we already lost one. Um, so I wonder, I almost killed him. Come on, let's try and get this kill real quick. Where's the Auchun? There he is. I would be finishing off the Auchun, but unfortunately I get locked down. See that? I'm locked now. He's got one HP. I would be killing this guy, but I got locked. And so after 12 really quick kills, uh, the match was over. Interesting that this is the second time I'm making a ridiculous performance video with a Blitz robot on this map, right? I think this map is very well, it's very good for getting a lot of kills very quickly. If you can withstand the constant attack of enemies, then you have the option to get a lot of kills here because they do not spawn very far away and they, they themselves only have to walk a couple of meters to re-attack you after you have them attacked uh, or killed a second before. And this really makes for some immensely awesome gameplay videos here uh, on the map um, castle. Um, I can actually hit this guy, um, but now he jumped down. And I don't know why he's saying no, no, no to me in a second. You'll see it here in a sec. He's gonna say that, and I don't care because I'm done teaming up with people. I do not want to team up with people in Free For All because it ruins Free For All. So, sorry, not going to team up with anyone anymore. It's unfair to those that, you know, that do not get teamed up with. And um, so he was, uh, he was, he felt safe. Maybe he was trying to fool me. He was like, ha ha, you can't do anything. <laughs> and he was shaking his head. And I activated the break-in ability and I whooped the heck out of him. 
<laughs> crazy. Anyways, guys, if you like this video and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, uh, then subscribe now because we also have more videos coming up. Living Legend Aries, Living Legend Ravana, probably some other videos too. And also there's going to be a giveaway coming up soon where I'm going to give away some massive stuff. Not sure what exactly this is yet. I'll first have to communicate this with Pixonic, what they allow me to give. Uh, but I know it's going to time for another giveaway. So stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Uh, last giveaway was 200 our main titans, for example, right? 200, that's quite a lot. So, uh, let's just survive here. And I think this is still, is this still the same first blitz from the second, from the beginning? Or have we already been killed? No, I think, yeah, we have been killed already because there was the time when I lost one of my quarkers. Now it's back. So this is the second, the second blitz that we're running right now. Um, and notice that the second titan is going for me. The second titan could be firing at the other titan, but he isn't. He wants me because he doesn't care about maybe trying to get third place or whatever. He wants me because I obliterated this all enemies so much here that they decide, see, to go for me. Both of these Arthurs. And I can't, I don't have flamethrowers. I can't actually fight the Arthurs. So what I'm doing, I'm just running away and attracting one of them here, right? I'm isolating them because if they really just want me all both of them, then what I can do at least is try and fight one of them, but not both of them at the same time. If that works, he got me pushed away and unfortunately I can't finish, finish enemy three here, but I can not give them much time and jump in again with the Raven, with the triple jump and the jump unit and have a chance at finishing enemy 3 before enemy 2 gets him for free. Enemy 2 would immediately get enemy 3 now, but because I switched to a new robot so fast and not wasted any additional time, I basically was able to still get my kill. It was my kill to begin with, so do not complain about not getting a stealing kill. Um, <laughs> and I was able to get it because I didn't waste any further time. I didn't wait for getting destroyed. I instantly switched to the next robot, jumped all the way there, and used whatever little time I had to steal the kill. And that was really lucky that it even worked. 4.4 million damage, 16 kills, and the next person only had two. That's why they teamed up against me uh, with their titans, because they noticed there's like nothing else they need to fight. They had to probably team up all five against me, and it was still would have still lost the battle. It was really a crazy match, and it's because this thing is just insane. This Blitz robot with a legendary pilot. I'm suppressing the Ao Ming, and uh, no, sorry, the Ao Chun. I'm suppressing him so that he cannot kill the Leo, because I'm planning on getting both kills. I'm not happy with just one kill. I want them both. So what I do is I suppress the Ao Chun, which means now he's only going to do like 10% damage. That's not going to be enough to kill the Leo. And I'm going to focus the Ao Chun first. Unfortunately, it seems the Leo got killed by enemy 2 with his Sinister Pulsar. And I was like, oh, I, I thought this through so well. I had my plan and it all worked. And then this guy came, comes in and still eats, eats my, uh, my Leo lunch that I've prepared for myself so well. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Leo, but uh, in this case, I guess, you know, you, 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 he got just killed by someone. All right, we're attacking a Blitz robot down there, and it seems like he doesn't want to use his ability in vain. He wanted to use the ability on someone, and there was no, no one in range, and I killed him so quickly. Let's make him use the stealth ability and try to get this kill. Yeah, okay, I wasn't lucky enough to get this. Ao Chun is now using... Um, Lockdown ammo. I'm waiting for my resistance to still be there, and after the resistance ends, I'll be able to jump into uh, into this. Killing the Aochun, activating another phase shift at 50% that I get, and now it's time to activate the ability here and do immense amounts of damage uh, to this uh, to this guy right here in front of us. Boom. And now afterwards, I'll get killed. I got no more chance. He also has the leech ability running, and it's like... At this point, in the middle of everybody, there is only so much you can do. Alright, so here we go. Firing, firing, firing. Brrrps! Ah, he walks into cor into the co cover corner just a second before I could have gotten him. Okay. Ooh, boy. It's like every time I use break in on a Ravana, it lags. Do you notice that? It's like there's like no time where I can use break in on a Ravana without lagging. 
Um, I've actually had Pixonic explain to me a little bit about the lags that are currently going on. Uh, I think they also notice it's more now. Um, and uh, the lags where people stand still, not take damage, and then suddenly teleport. These lags are caused by uh, low-end connections on their end, on the other player's end. Um, you know, let's not forget it's a mobile game, right? So people might just be sitting on the bus station or whatever and, and having a uh, not so ba good internet connection sometimes and playing. Some others are having a, a weak wireless LAN and the sister is downloading or watching movies or Netflix or whatever, you know? There's plenty of reasons why the internet connection can, can uh, dip for a second or, for, um, or just generally be less effective. This could be um, what causes some players to lag like crazy. Um, that's at least the explanation that also Pixonic had in store for me, but then again, um, this is so much now, and it's more now than it was before. And I don't see, I don't think there is a, there, there's any possible explanation as to why, why should it lag now th three times as much as it did lag like uh, a couple of months be before or maybe two years ago. The internet connection has certainly not become worse compared to back in the days where mobile internet was not as powerful as it is today. So I think overall we're experiencing an increase in lagging despite the connectivity, sh you know, tendon statistically should, it should be getting better. So I think it's only one part of the reason uh, that people are lagging. Another part is that the servers sometimes may just be a little bit uh, um, stra strained out, is that, if that's even a word. Like they may just be uh, sometimes also having a too, too many people online at the same time. I don't know, right? But uh, saying it's only the uh, other people, I think that wouldn't be all it. There is some other aspect to it um, uh, that, that is the reason for such increased lags that we have these days. And um, I've already made a video on the whole lock lag topic where I speculate a little bit of what might be causing some more increased lag. Um, if you haven't yet seen it in the upper right corner or on the channel, you'll find it. Let's talk about lags or we need to talk about lags in War Robots. I, I called the video. Um, uh, wow, this guy got killed so fast because of the overdrive module on the Blitz. He didn't even activate his ability fast enough. And now we have a full Ao Ming right there. Of course, not a very, very well leveled one, but it is, after all, a Titan Ao Ming with a lot of firepower. But the firepower doesn't do him any good when he is suppressed. And, and then I even have resistance on top. I'm fast, a lot of firepower. Man, it's a beast. This thing is a living legend. <laughs> That's right. So, um... Uh, we're, we're, uh, on, and this is interesting because we're on a sniper map now, basically, right? And this is a 500 meter range setup, and, and, and they have been made better. The Quaker and, the uh, Atomizer, I think they do not lose their accuracy as fast anymore as they heat up. I already said previously that the weapon does not need a buff. It was already performing better than most other weapons, and it was perfect. It wouldn't, it wasn't the, necessarily the best weapon at range, but it was incredibly good at short range. And now they made it so that even at 500 meters, it's like almost the best weapon you can have. And then at short range, is like the best weapon you can have, except for fast dashing units where you want to have Scourge or something. Um, but yeah, so overall, this thing is, I think it's probably too powerful for a light weapon. See what we can do with it. Um, and it's not just all the overdrive unit and the max weapons, it's also that the weapon simply performs a bit too good now, uh, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, still, Living Legend here uh, is a fun, funny uh, and entertaining thing to do. And that's what I want to show you here, ladies and gentlemen, in Pixonic, in case you're listening to this. I personally think you should roll back the, um, the Quarker and atomizer change that made it a little more accurate when you when he Titan heats up Slayer. i think it was a good balancing way that it it lost its accuracy upon heating up faster um because that's that's now why it's so good because there's like no drawback you're super good at long range you're super good at short range and it's like in any any situation you bypass energy shields it's just immense the only downside is this the only problems you have are physical shields that's the only thing. But if you just wait them out and come from the right moment and then send a break-in shot at the right split second, you may just be able to steal even that kill in the end. And then I switch over to a flamethrower Ravana uh, because I know that this is exactly what helps me break uh, the Titan. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now, right? I could have chosen to keep on going with a different setup, but nothing that I have kills this thing so fast. By the way, why does he lose the shield? Look, I'm not firing anymore. Look. He got both shields. I'm not firing anymore. And boop, there goes one shield. I'm reloading. I'm not firing. And 
<laughs> there goes the second shield. I'm like, what? No one fired at him. And he loses his shield like it, it delayed. What the heck? And now we're doing double damage and there you go. Nice. So that is the Living Legend Blitz. Oh, we're not fully, fully finished yet. I know I'm not in the Blitz right now. Technically, this is however the... I think the video showed 90% Blitz. So I think it's okay. Um, you know, I have this... this um, this wish when I when I name a video with a certain title, then I want it to really show that. Some people are making videos saying, "Oh, this is the title," and then like you see it for a short sequence, and that's basically it. I really want to make this the topic, and that's the main thing that it should show. Um, here is another bug that I want to show here: that the flamethrowers they have they they perfect they I don't know why, but they do not they do not connect to the enemy. Look, I'm perfectly hitting him; he loses no health. And even now, look, I'm perfectly sending the flames. They literally go through his robot and and they do not connect with him. Another bug with the flamethrowers now. So 6.2 is full of bugs apparently. Pulsar being weird. Pulsar missing people that are moving around and such. So that's weird. The lock on is screwed up with a 45 degree angle in front of, above you or in uh, below you where you lose your target lock. That's stupid. Please roll that back instantly. I, I'm pretty sure it's probably not even a feature. It's probably somehow accidentally moved into the patch. Uh, so a lot of bugs. Some hot fix would be good. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with you guys. Awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye bye. Oh, and uh, in case the hot fix is already out and these things that I said are already fixed, even better. Then this means that I just pre-recorded the video and it's released a bit later, uh, and it may have already been fixed. For for all I know, what I what what how would I know, right? So see you guys later. Bye bye.